It's listed as a visual novel on Steam, so curious how that's going to shake out. But I'm here for story-driven men's nude beach volleyball. Retired men's nude beach volleyball. Um, yeah. So we will start a freshie. Get underway here. Hey there, I'm glad you joined the league. Everyone's different, here for different reasons, but at the end of the day, we are all here for one reason. I believe it's set in Massachusetts, too, which... The, the Massachusetts beach is rarely warm. Like, I know Cape Cod is a thing, but... I've been there, it was breezy. Um, to play volleyball. You might have played in other places, but here are our rules. Okay. I would love to learn. I like that they have a tutorial skip option, I'm presuming. This is a one-on-one -on -one volleyball. Also, I'm playing with controller. It does obviously have uh, support input inputs as well, but with two people play a match at a time, there are no spikes or dives in this league. I know we are all in pretty good shape here. Had too many broken hips to risk it anymore. Uh, members of a group are welcome to watch. To score a point, you must be serving. I'm not trying to do a, like a Boston accent or anything, by the way. I'm just kind of calling it as I feel it. <clears throat> First person to 25 wins. Hit it out of bounds. A dual bad serve. Your opponent gets the ball. I decide who serves first. Here's a rule that you might not know. Hit it up. You can hit the ball under the net. It goes over or under the net as long as it's not out of bounds. It's fine with me. I don't really care. I'm not perfect, but none of us are. Sometimes I miss things. That's okay. Don't get mad. I, lo I love this vibe. I'd like to go over the league rules. First off, I know some people might think what we do is weird, but we have something special going on here. Only talk about a group with other people in the league. Uh-oh. Trouble. If we find out you are blabbing, you are out of the group, and you'll never hear from us again. This is the fight club of retired Ben's nude sports. Alright. Uh, make, sure, make sure to bring proper sunscreen and water to stay hydrated. Drink the water, not the sunscreen. It gets hot out there, and you don't want to get burned. Don't miss your matches. If you commit to a match, be there. Members of our group sometimes drive pretty far to make their matches. If you skip and don't have a good excuse, then you are out of the group. You must respect everyone's space and boundaries. Dude, beach volleyball is a sport where we show our true vulnerabilities and bring it all on the field, physically and emotionally. If somebody doesn't like something you were doing or talking about, then back off and give them space. The VG advisor quote for you. Whatever happens in the match stays in the match. Sometimes we share secrets and stories on the field. This is our place to reflect and learn. If she has something personal and we hear you told anyone, uh, you are immediately out of the group. What do you think? Are you in? Sure. Good. Bring some food to share with the group. Maybe potato salad, macaroni salad, something like that. That's all for now. See you out in the field. Oh, you can control the driving too. This could have been up under the influence. Here is a weird way to die. See the headlines now. Naked 80 year old found dead in the woods with a volleyball in his hand. Why am I doing this? Let's go through this whole process of how I got here. I was at the supermarket buying some cereal. After I checked out, I looked at the bulletin board past the register. Dead? Tired? Looking for something more in life? Thought it'd be an ad for a pyramid scheme. I'm sure something along those lines. I was bored, so I grabbed it. I actually wasn't bored. I want to know the real reason why I grabbed it. Or want to know the real reason why I grabbed it? Yes. I always enjoyed a hard sell. I enjoy the feeling of someone trying really hard to convince me to do something. Knowing the whole time, I'm going to say no. Like that time in Vegas. They offered 200 in cash to assist through a timeshare talk. About two to three hours, nice breakfast. We had a bagel and some fruit. I gave a presentation about how I could sell a timeshare to my friends for a profit if I bought one. After the main presentation, we were each assigned to an individual salesperson to go over the details. I knew this was when I would get the hard sell. I we sit down with a stranger and they draw what looks like a large tee on a piece of paper. You know the hard pitch is coming. I love it when I see that tee. He asked personal questions about how much I make, what my friends do for work. Then came the number. 2700 a year. That's how much I would have to pay to buy into this time share. Did I say yes? No. Exactly. I did not. My plan was to never say yes. I wanted to see how far I was willing to go. Next time we wrote down, I think it was 2500 What did I say? No. 
be disappointed. Imagine all the wonderful times you could have at any of these beautiful locations, he said. But again, I said no. It went on for too long. By the end of the negotiation, 2700 per year had turned into 200 That might not have been a bad deal, but my heart was on the 200 I would be given in cash for the meeting. I politely said no, and then I would not be taking this offer. I was upset that I wasted his time. I actually felt pretty bad about it, too. He left, and someone else gave him and brought me $200 in casino chips that I could change into cash. Yeah, I did. I always had a strange relationship with experiences like this. It's a strange, uncomfortable feeling. That sort of feels good. I thought this flyer in the grocery store or something like that. Some scam, or someone trying to sell me something. Or maybe it's something real It was worth checking out. I really have no idea. When I called, the guy on the phone said it was a nude volleyball league. That was the last thing I ever expected to hear. I have no idea what to think. I've barely been nude in front of anyone. Definitely not a stranger who I'm gonna play volleyball with. I've been wanting to get more active lately though, and I've always enjoyed the sport of volleyball, so I figured it's worth a shot. I feel like this is something I should be very scared of, but for some reason, not. Well, I guess I'm a little nervous. Wonder if there'll be an audience watching. Maybe I should research this group more. Guess we'll see what happens. Welcome to Pittsfield. Fuck. Len, this is the first match for both of you. Welcome to the league. You all know the rules, so let's have a nice match. A little buggy out today, so you, you need any bug spray? Yes, please. Go here some. Time for some volleyball. Well, that's nice they provide. I mean, they told you to bring sunscreen, but they got other conditional goodies. Alright. Nervous, I haven't played volleyball in a while, and I mean, do I really have to get naked for this? Is it gonna hurt if the ball hits me in my sensitive areas? Go, so I can see my opponent. He's waving at me. Stay back. Hey, Lynn, I'm Mark, your opponent. Thanks for showing up. I think this is going to be really fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this, although I'm a little nervous about the naked part. Ah, uh, sorry. Anyway, let's get go on the road. Oh. I would have gone out of bounds. Let it ride. Inside. I should televise these matches. Oh no, that was in. <laughs> Wait, that should have switched. Weird. That's an expected over there. Oh wait, it gave the point to me. Oh no, I guess it was out. Okay. That would be why. Come on, Len, you can do it. Len finds his distance. Bigger than I expected. Trying to blast it. Seems to improve your accuracy further up the bar too. I wasn't sure I would handle that. Oh no! My depth perception. I just realized the ref is bottomless, but not topless. That out. Nope, that went. Kind of hard to see the top line. Mark seems to be doing well. I don't know about that. Oh, I was right behind, right in front of it. I don't know how that counted as a point for me. Okay. Good oh boy, you said you were nervous about playing, huh? I'll just get lucky. No, no chalk it up to luck. You're doing great. You should own it. That, that's important. Why is it important? Or because what you say can change how you feel. What you should feel is confidence. Yes. Oh boy, we're going to need to do something about this attitude. Uh, okay.
I was in, yeah. I think we're just gonna do one match. We'll just do a little taster here, but I'm digging this so far. I love, I love how it's got the little uh, conversations in between. I'm really starting to slack. Come on. On apart. Jeez. My depth perception is terrible, apparently. Why not even win this match? I'm always just slightly short. You know I haven't played a volleyball game of any sort, real or video, in a while. Yeah, I'm just gonna let the outs go and hope. Ho hopefully, the outs are in my favor. Bring it back. Mark has a strong serve. Yeah, I noticed. This should just be paying more, more uh, attention to the uh, shadow. All right, there we go. That's out. We're only down two, right? Yeah. Bad serve. Now he has extra arms. A little bad serve. Got over. Bad serve. Okay. Oh, I guess it was technically out. Ugh. Pick him up. Getting destroyed. is natural. That he is. Oh, come on. The first time I'm bouncing into the net. There was every game led. Nice work. Thanks, Mark. By the way, have we met you before? You look familiar. Oh, have we? Is this the timeshare guy, maybe? Beautiful. Inside. This will never end. It ended. Inside. Fantastic. We gotta get some points in there. Let's see what he was thinking. There we go. Can they see us from airplanes? I just saw the, the creeper there. It's great. How's it going, buddy? We get a fair amount of uh, space to uh, work with here. Maybe we should just hang back more. He says, "Is that just proves problematic?" All right, there we go. Oh, hit the net, but it got over. So fantastic. Here it goes again. I need to hang back more. That was a terrible serve. Keep it rocking. Did he 
you touch it? No! Go to score. You're next to the opponent. Thanks, you're doing well too, Mark. Thanks, Ed. For me, it's not about winning or losing. It's just about having fun. Me too. All right, then. You ready for the next match? Yeah, let's go. I guess every five, it, that's... Gives you a little interstices there. Come on. No! Not the point. Match is flying by. Right into my face. It's just as long as I don't stop moving, I think I think we're gonna be all right. He says as he then fails again. Maybe I should just shut the hell up and play. <laughs> Mark, you bastard. Beautiful bip. What? I was in the line. All right. Really great plan to get you, Mark. I can't believe uh, final match is here. May the best man win. I'm going to get destroyed. Play in the woods like we used to? All right, pink purple might be the jam here. Maybe we would play in the woods in video games. I would go for it. because our moms were friends. Okay. Backstory. Cool. Alright, we broke ten. I wonder if we would have hung out together, hung out otherwise. Alright, let, let him do himself. Let's go. I bet we would have. You're a good guy, Mark. That was a little too late. Oh, it didn't go under. Yes! Uh, th that's right. I forgot they told, they told me. Let me get, get across over or under the net. We're good. I wonder... Eh, no. Ugh! We close the gap a bit. If I can survive three more points... But without him getting three more points. Yeah, please do that. Baby, perfect. At a point. Here comes the comeback. Don't call it that. Inside. Literally walked right past it. Still, they like a few things. These birds. Oh, I wanted to see what the things were. How about? Nope, that was terrible. I was worried it would count as in because it would be on the line. All right. Yeah, what you got? No. Urgh! 
right at my feet. Wow, good game, lad. It was great. Good luck in your next match. We played next. Schedule says Steve. Uh, he's a tough one. Just remember some of the things we talked about. You'll be fine. Keep that in mind. Oh, thanks. Uh, I'm sure you'll be fine. Cheers. Better mark. Point mark. Mark one of the ladder. At least you got to keep going. Teams. Let's do two matches. We'll see if I can win one. Oh. New uh, scenery. Off to Worcester for another match. Not many beaches in Worcester. The Beach Volleyball League, right? Here's a list of things I know in Worcester. Vincent's. You can see Frank Moore perform there. It was pure magic. Racha Thai. What an incredible Thai buffet. I need to look up to see if these are actually real. Maybe we'll go there after the match. I should focus. Uh, more memories. They get him to a Green Day concert in Worcester when he was in high school. Now that I think of it, <laughs> I brought him to a lot of shows in that city. Really enjoyed heavy metal. Not really my style, but I don't mind it. Lots of energy. Love seeing him enjoy something so much. At night, picking him up from an all-day heavy metal concert. He was covered in fake blood. Was that band? Oh, it was Guar. It was absolutely Guar. It was one of those bands. It was Guar. It looked like a tie-dye t-shirt. They do him. Well, did you go to a Grateful Dead concert instead of a heavy metal show? Drive home was nice. Plan for the match. Well, that first match was interesting. I didn't die. <laughs> Look at some old volleyball skills. Only some. That ref is a character. That was a match he's telling me stories about his indoor cactus garden. Wonder what his deal is. Oh, another week, another match. I want to keep getting better. What should I focus on this week? Uh, mental agility. It's interesting last match how much we ended up speaking during it. That never happened in college. Back then, it was all just about winning and smashing the ball as hard as possible. During the match last week, I found myself thinking about maybe that's why I'm failing. I'm focusing too much on smashing the ball as hard as possible. Think about possible things to say, but there were times when my response wasn't 100% confident with my confident, confident with my words. I'm gonna try to prove that. Place. I feel like I went to Worcester at least once as a kid, but... But ready for match two? This one is against Steve. Not here yet, but hopefully he will be soon. This might be a good time to check in to see what you think so far. So, what do you think? Older than I expected. Yeah, it's definitely not the beat. Be careful, you don't step... Be careful, careful you step, don't step on anything sharp here. I didn't, really, I didn't really check to clean it yet. Well, thanks for your input. It's Steve. Let's get this match going. Appreciate the different matches of different tunes, too. And we have diversity. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's like a backlog. I'm nervous. This opponent is going to be my toughest yet. Bigger than me, stronger than me, and doesn't look like he has a weakness. The looks of it, he's beaten all of his other opponents into submission. The ref is scared of him. Threats. All I can do is give him my best shot. Let's do this, Len. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this. I'm sorry, have we met before? Oh, yes, we met before. I would say that I didn't leave an impression, but I know that's impossible. You must have blocked it out. Yeah, I guess my memory isn't as good as it used to be. Sounds like someone hasn't been up with their mental exercises. Get ready for this heat. How do you know I used to do mental exercises? There's a lot I know about you, Ben. Get ready for this. Drama going on. I don't know why everybody's turning southern. But... So be it. Nope. Co worker John sang in a barbershop choir in this city. More like it. That was a lot of fun. Y'all went to see him perform together. Yeah, the straight perps are doing me favors, I'll take it. So only did about the bluebird was really nice. Oh. I 
I don't really seem to have control on the angle, which is bad, but... Again, I always move up to way too far. Where it's going, not where it is. You're about to get crushed. Okay, well played. Thanks. Say what? Glad you have something you want to say. I can tell. I don't have anything to say. You do. I don't. You do. You're wondering why I'm such a jerk. Really not, I promise. Be speech. Just like a sheep. Bah, bah. Thanks for the points. That is kind of a dick. Huh? He's actually getting inside my head. As this is too thick. We went away for a little bit overnight, but hey. On. Ugh. Yeah, gotta stop worried about it. Learn to love the ball. Wiping the floor with me. Alright, he finally got one out. Capitalize, let's go. Bought their cassette tape after the show. That was pathetic, but over! I think. Okay, now his hands just kind of freaked out. They still gave it back to me. I think I, I, think I might have broken it. Next time, Steve-O. Think about the rug floors. So soft. That's out. One point. Another weak one, but under. Use it again. Getting a weak enough serve to serve it under sometimes breaks the damn thing. There's your bug report. What do I call it a damn thing? It's fine. Ah! I'm gonna get annihilated again. Oh, what do you think of that? Thanks, I'm sure you're taking it easy on me. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm taking it easy on you. You upset? You okay? I'm fine. I don't want to talk about it. I'm sexy. I'm still in good shape. I'm still relatively young, and I'm still gonna kick your ass in volleyball. Get ready for this. Bring it, River Wolf. Do you remember his last name or something? Oh, hey, finally a return. That'll be my first one this match. Switch him up. That should have gone to me then. Yeah, somehow I broke this. My terrible serves earlier. chat out on the next point, which will I, I will inevitably seriously do in a row into the net. Getting annihilated. If we to give up now, giving up is much less embarrassing than I disagree. The coward dies a thousand deaths. The hero only one. That's what a troop of coward cares about. Run away. You have no shame. You can't feel ashamed. Check me. I so much. Is it that obvious? I thought I hit it so well. I thought that I could keep it all bottled up and sad. But I guess not. I was just an open book this whole time. A big, stupid open book. Hey, chin up, buddy. This is volleyball. There's no negative self-talk in volleyball. They seem like I'm being negative, but I'm not. The fact that every person can obtain multitude is negative. It just is. You, my aggressive behavior, probably just makes you think, wow, this guy is a jerk. Nothing else beyond that. But to me, my aggressive behavior serves another function. Whether I'm aware of it or not. And that function is to make me feel better. Make me feel special. Uh, 
Sorry you feel that way. Thanks, that means a lot. You played? We're having like little breakthroughs here. Even with my imminent destruction. Oh, that's still in. Come on. I'd like to at least get to the double digits, but I, I, I'm increasingly convinced that's not happening. Almost. Hey, at this point, at this rate, I'd like to just get to five. I, don't, I just completely scored on you, but I have to say, got skill. Nice, I've been practicing. Yo, you've been putting in work. Even if you're talented, you have to put in the put in the work. Most people don't get that, but then again, most people don't get most things. Said right before I'm putting in a weekend of putting in the work. Life on exam is no kind of life at all. When we knew each other, back when we knew each other, I know. Now know I. I know. I guess that's a. I think it's supposed to be. I knew. I knew what I was doing. I did my actions day in and day. I was wrong, but I did them. In. This was a school bully or something. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Knowing that I was a bully somehow made it worse. Made me more angry, which made me more of a bully. Why'd you do it? I did it because I felt out of control. My life you know, outside of work was unstable, miserable. I had to move back home, back here with my parents. My dad was terrible to my mom. But instead of protecting her, standing up to him. Look it out on everyone at work, belittling them, bullying them. Huh. I noticed, we all noticed. Not asking for forgiveness. Wait, I don't deserve it. I guess, I guess I'm just trying to make sense of it all. But I can make sure it doesn't happen again. One way to make sure it doesn't happen again is to make sure you apologize to those you've hurt. You're right, I need to make myself accountable. I need a moment to think. We're gonna have about five points a moment, so hurry it up. I mean, at least this is accurately reflecting my volleyball skill or lack thereof in real life. No! I didn't see if you could. I, actually, yeah, I didn't even check if you can double hit. I don't know if that was. I didn't. I don't recall if that was mentioned in the rules. Alright, just end me, Steve. You got two more. They know the left end is my absolute weakness. Again, I'm very much reflecting my real life volleyball uh, skill or lack thereof. Oh! Oh, we went for it. We finally got a serve back. Redemption, redemption arc right here. Used to get so mad at me so fast. Weren't supposed to hit it back. Oh, behind the sign. Oh, we were good. Dunk it. Oh, the wasn't even trying to move. Okay, thank you for counting that out. But then why'd it go back to him? Again, I think we broke it by underserving too many times, but. Thanks, good game to you too. It's funny, we've been playing this match against each other. But it feels like we've really been playing another match, a match of wits, emotions. But I feel like I've lost that too. No, that's not a match. Just two old men talking. Nobody loses here. What do you mean? How can more than one person win? Rising tide raises all boats. If you're nice to someone else and you make them feel good, it makes you feel good too. Everyone wins. Well, I guess I never thought about life like that way. I've always thought of life as a game, a volleyball game. I mean, I guess you could think of life as one big volleyball game, sure. But only we're all on the same team. That's pretty cheap. What's wrong with something being cheesy? Cheese is delicious. Ah, uh, okay, good point. Thanks for the game, and for the talk. I feel like I've learned something today. I wish I hadn't been such a jerk all these years. I wish I could go back and change things. Feel that. Uh, 
Yeah, we all wish that. No one goes through life without racking up a few regrets. But we do what we can to make amends when we're able. All we can ever do. You're right. Good game, lad. Game yourself, Steve. That's a delight. But yeah, I think we'll pause it there. I will probably, I will almost definitely finish this in the future, but for the time being, we have to get back to the good life. Which I have left for, I got, like, at least a month and a half now. Um, but yeah, thanks again to the devs for the, um, the hookup on Woobit. And I love this little, like, this is supposed to be Len's uh, desktop, but this does drop to this every time you uh, back out. I am using oh, capturing turkey. Turkeys in the rain. Uh, grocery list. I could use some lemons. And some hot sauce, actually. Basic ref line script. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can go back in if you want. I did not realize. Email. Oh, there's a whole thing of emails? Oh, but I can't, uh... Can't click on the uh, ads, unfortunately. Right. I wonder if this explains some of the backstory. Mark was the first match, right? Grandpa Len. This is... The, the amount of depth put into this is great. I guess these are the locations. You gotta play with your heart. Oh, I love this. I love this. Shot, serve it up on the I, hope, I hope they play this over the credits or something. We'll get to the end. Standing in the sand, you're retired man. This is life. Here you are, back and forth. This is your plan. This is so sweet. Having fun in the sun with your friends at the beach. Oh yeah. Having fun in the I just realized I could have made a play with a boys joke. Oh yeah. It's title. Oh well. I don't want to spoil the whole thing. Get the game. Let's do it yourself. What's on the to-do list? This is the actual dev to-do list. Multiple hit animations. Text typing sound. I guess for the words coming in. Thing? Oh, Smear Babe. I don't know who that is, but oh, the, the full file name. Ball image. Well, then I, uh, I forget what that manga they covered on, um, the rugby manga that they covered on, um, Beast Children, that was it. With the, with the rugby ball that they just continuously resized, it was just a, it was literally a photo. Uh, Nest. That's cool. Jokes. Oh, we gotta read some jokes. Sir, but never eat a volleyball. There's not a spike one in there. I'm curious about this arcade game too. I guess this was like something for like um, an indicator. Well, 
indicate it's on. But like the indie section at MAGFest or something. Not ringing a bell visually, but uh, I will look up Get Out of My Face Arcade at some point. Oh, game ideas. Tennis game, potato, George's Walk. Oh, I would play a music-based garden, Sam, absolutely. Arm wrestling for charity. Train conductor simulator, well. Oh, wait, the conductor's the guy who goes and, like, punches the tickets and stuff, right? Yeah, because the engineer's the one who's driving. That would be interesting. Forge unit. Uh, whistle. Oh, there's our boy. I love that the ref's uh, shirt, like, also basically, also, like, would be a midriff. Even if he had a bottom, so... Okay, yeah, I guess that, oh, these are lens profiles. I'm, I'm guessing, okay, maybe the... I was going to say, maybe the, they're color-coded to reflect different people, but... It's about that speed, the conch speedway? But, like, I doubt Len... Going back to this, my bad. I feel like Len wouldn't have a game idea list. Let me check the color on that. Apparently, there's more than one theme, too. Retired. Oh, more tunes. And yeah, he wouldn't have, like, the lines for the ref. So, yeah, the color coding hypothesis might be incorrect, but... Alright, oh, I, that, that's the other thing. I love that he's the kind of guy who would keep his Wi-Fi password in a text file. <laughs> anyway, um... And the uh, in-game system clock does reflect the real system clock, but... Check the about... All right, let's move on. Again, we will finish the volleyball probably, it might not be till January, but I did want to get at least a starter up there. I mean, it looks good. Is it out yet? I should have checked that before you. No, yeah, it's out, seven bucks. And, oh! It's the Soda Drinker Pro guy. I, I should have known that. I, like, I still need to play Find the Letter H. I don't know how I missed that. Oh, all right. That makes even more sense.